my brothers were taken from me as opposed to a gift being given on Christmas. As many of you gathered with family tonight, this man's family started making funeral arrangements for his two brothers gunned down over the weekend. The younger brother, Raheem McCall, died last night at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Police have not made any arrests in the Saturday night shooting. News 2's Joseph Pleasant talked to the men's surviving brother about the murder. Kenneth McCall sits and tries to describe the feelings his family is experiencing as they plan funerals for 20-year-old Raheem McCall, also called Hollywood by family, and his 27-year-old brother, Cedric Robinson. Being bombarded with different emotions of what, why, how, when, who, these are all questions that were periodically pop up in our mind. The brothers were best friends and often together. Robinson was a husband and father of an eight-month-old daughter. He was straightforward. What you see was what you get. McCall was the next to youngest in the family. He was also the first one to graduate from high school. He recently found out he, too, was going to become a father. A person with a big smile, a big heart. According to Metro Police, McCall and Robinson were sitting in a parked car here along Highland Trace Drive when they were shot. According to police, it was a drug-related shooting, but their brother says that's not the whole story. They want to go on the fact that these guys that there that got killed were hoodlums, were thugs, were drug dealers, were drug pushers. That not what it was. They lured my brothers there and executed them in that manner. According to Metro Police, a quantity of marijuana packaged for resale was found at the scene. Metro Police are still investigating and have not released any suspect information. Nothing is going to replace my brothers. Nothing. They can find a young man, put him on death row. Only thing that would do is cause a mother to feel the same pain my mother feel. McCall says his brothers were not perfect, but they didn't deserve to be gunned down. What they deserve now, he says, is justice. In South Nashville, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. If you have any information about the murders of McCall or Robinson, call Crime Stoppers at 74 Crime. You do not have to give your name, and you could receive a cash reward for your information.